you've all heard mediums give names, haven't you? Okay, well, it doesn't matter if you're clairaudient, clairsentient or clairvoyant, everything comes with a feeling. So when you get a name, you should be able to tell them the full name instead of just the M name and things like that. You should be able to tell them the relationship. So I've got the name of Mary. Mary feels like a, a mother. Okay, so again, everything comes with a feeling or impression we've got to follow it but what the human mind does is grasp on everything oh i've got mary i've got to give somebody mary. So how many of you have heard people say i've got a john and a david and a peter and a jane so how many people by a show of hands from the screens that's on can take a john in the spirit world add to that can you take a john here okay so david spirit world or here Mary, spirit world or here? Oh, I'm I'm blooming good. Here, Look how many people can take my names. Yeah. Names in themselves don't prove anything. Nothing at all. And everybody wants them. Everybody wants a name. But however, if you say I've got Mrs. Erica Taylor here, that makes a difference. It's like, oh, full name. Okay. Uh, uh, one of the last demonstrations we did in, in a church in the UK, uh, we got full names and people said, how did you do that? We only get right Christian names or bits of names. And I said, but the point is, it's what follows the name that makes it. And he said, oh, yeah, there's no doubt about that. And I said, that's the difference. That's the bit you need to look at because we can rake through the drawers. We can go in psychically. There is common names. I look forward to the next um round of mediums that come up because they're going to have to come out with names like pixie bell and apple and daisy and all these things it's going to be wonderful it's going to be fantastic some of the names that are coming out i just think poor poor child but again they're going to be different because we i remember many years ago a, a, a lady said to me well you gave me mary and you gave her mary and i said well whose fault that your mum was called mary and her grandmother was called mary i've got no decision on that but it's how they come through We've got to look at the relationship, the feeling that comes with it. So like we started with the question, as we get information, there's feelings that come with it. It's those feelings we have purposely about it that expand the information, the evidence. So again, we've got, that's our job to do that as the medium. And when you see somebody explaining what they've got in a in an evidential way, that's the true evidential medium because it's not just names or information it really is about the personality the character the essence and how it all the story goes together it should never be i've got a jack i've got a john i've got this i've got that i've got this. it should be a continuous story as we work through that's a craft that doesn't happen overnight mm -hmm. so i would suggest take your time sit in the power and really feel everything as it comes in and express it and be a real servant to the spirit world you enjoying speaking yeah, you've let me. <laughs> <laughs> oh.